and welcome back to another video. And today, me and Ben, Rick Spin, just ahead, there he is, have come over to Orford Ness. <laughs> <laughs> the bench, a memory bench for a woman who was nicknamed the Duck Lady. So we're um, we're just walking down to get the boat now over across to the nature reserve. And yeah, we're going to have a little bit of speaking about the history and what we know. So I shall catch you at the boat. So the rain is picking up a huge amount so if i disappear from the videos and you don't see me anymore it means the rain has destroyed my hair so i'll be hiding myself <laughs> i'll keep talking but you might not see as much of me if it does destroy my hair oh it's a butterfly it's destroyed my hair <laughs> <laughs> taken shelter in one of the first buildings because let me give you a spin around and show you outside. The rain has calmed down a little bit now, so we're going to make a break for the next one, which is just down that path a little bit, and we'll catch you there. Behind me is the Bomb Ballistics Building, which was built in 1933 to house the state-of-the-art equipment used to record the flight of bombs. This information was used to improve their aerodynamics and provide data for the production of the tables used to refine the bomb beaming. The equipment was steadily improved over the years, but most noticeably from the 1950s of the development of the atomic and atomic 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 bomb. Atomic? Atomic. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, um, 
lovely interesting building we're going to keep on walking down the rain has stopped my hair has survived a little bit so we'll have a little bit more talking unless if the rain comes again the Ministry of Defence sold Orford Nest to the National Trust. By then the importance of the landscape, of the split and the wildlife it supported were becoming apparent. In particular, the internationally rare and extremely fragile coastal vegetal shingle. The Trust now carefully protects its natural historic features. So a large part of the Orford Nest was purchased by the War Department in 1913 with the whole site acquired soon after from 1913. Orford Nest was used as a military test site, closely guarded to prevent the public access. Top secret experiments were conducted across the world wars and nuclear age. Orford Ness. Um, so the rain is starting to come down a little bit now so we're going to charge on and head towards the boat back and to get the car and then get some food and head home. But I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss a post. Check for now as always. We're going to power on now and yeah keep exploring the world one footprint at a time and until next week. Adios! Bye.